Alright, so this tutorial will be dealing with auto DMG and creating an image on the Mac platform. Uh, so you're going to want to download a few tools real quick. And I have them bookmarked. I'll leave them in the description below. But the first one is going to be auto DMG. We're going to click on our releases and we want the latest. While that's downloading, we're also going to use create user package. Same thing, release. Oh, actually, they're a little different on this one. We're going to download from here. And then we're going to use the skip Apple package assistant. Release, download. Uh, in case you're not aware of what the Apple setup assistant is, uh, it's this guy. So whenever you're booting your Mac for the very first time, all of this stuff will pop up by default. Uh, it's pretty easy to... Um, disable this and that's what this package will do uh, all of those have been downloaded so we're gonna go ahead and open up auto DMG and we're gonna go ahead and throw that in our applications folder create user package is a, just a very simple application uh, we'll go ahead and throw him in our applications folder as well. And then the last one is the skip setup assistant. And I'm just going to leave that on my desktop so it's easier to access. So we're going to launch auto DMG. And you saw a slight window for a second. It's actually downloading some profiles in the background. Uh, and that just tells it what the latest updates are. So we're going to go ahead and go to our Applications folder. And I have the Install Mac OS Sierra downloaded. If you don't have this, uh, you'll need to go to the App Store, um, click on Mac OS, and then download it. This takes a long time, so I didn't want to do it in the video. And now you just drop the app onto Auto DMG. It's going to scan it really quick. It's going to say, hey, you're going to need iTunes downloaded to get it to the latest, so I'm going to go ahead and download that real quick. All right, now that that's done, uh, you can go ahead and add uh, additional software. So in our case, we're going to go ahead and add the Skip Setup Assistant, and we're going to create a default user account for us real quick. So under Create User Package, we're just going to call our account admin with a great password. And we're going to change our user ID to not default to 499. We're going to set ours at 501. Um, if you already have some accounts on the machine, 501 might be taken already. So 600 might be a safer bet. Uh, we're going to leave it as admin. And we're not going to add a picture. The rest of this is fine. We're going to go ahead and save. And we're going to put this on our desktop. And that's it. You can now quit create user package. And whenever we build, Auto DMG will build out a DMG for us. Uh, we can throw that into Imager, Deploy Studio, Casper Imaging, whatever system you have, it will work. If you just want to use ASR from the command line, it'll work. Uh, that will take a while for it to build, so we'll leave that off camera. All right, so my auto DMG build is complete. Um, one thing that I did forget to mention is whenever you're in your selection window for additional packages, uh, if you have Casper, Monkey, Puppet, Chef, any of those management tools, you want to probably add those in here. So whenever you deploy this image and the machine boots up, the first thing it'll do is check in with your management system and then from there it'll start downloading additional packages, profiles, payloads, anything else that you have uh, assigned for that machine.